Hey, 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 what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Hope everybody's good. Let's get cracking on this live today, guys. Um, I want to make sure it makes you sort and sweet. Make sure you guys get your questions answered. If you have any questions, please ask them right now. I'm here going to be your host today. My name is Drew Romeo. For those of you guys who don't know me, if you're just tuning in for the first time, Natalie, what is up? What's up? What's up? Abigail King, what is up? Natalie, since you won last time, being the first person, I'm going to give Abigail King, you are the winner of a book or free t-shirt. So for being the first non-winner to comment here, so congratulations. Um, yeah, so uh, we're gonna get you a link. If you haven't received by the end of this live, let me know so that way we can go and um, pretty much give you the information you need to submit to us. But guys, if you guys are here right now, I'm glad you guys are flooding in right now, 56 people so far, smash the like button and also um, give us a heart if you like so we can let people who haven't joined yet, let them know so Facebook can push this out there. Um, really quickly though, I want you guys to see a few things if you guys haven't already so that you guys not bum rushing and try to figure out how to find us every week, just click the go, the get all live notifications with us, it's the easiest way. We go live on both YouTube and on Facebook so you can find us either way. Um, we do questions and giveaways every single live. We do books. We give away the unemployed CEO t-shirt. We give away a hundred dollar cash prize. If you don't believe me, ask our winners, the ones who received it, by the way. And then, um, we can take it from there. Okay. We're looking for the hundred dollar winner. If you guys are interested in that, you're going to have to be the most engaged, be the one that comments and responds and is active during the live. If we don't have that, then, you know, you're not winning. Um, the other thing is I want to make sure that you are also aware that um, in the description, there's going to be, there is a link for you guys to take advantage of. So that way uh, you can get a free cheat sheet that Kevin is giving away right now from the squad. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and make sure you open and save that tab so you can get access to the cheat sheet. It's going to give you access to that right away. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you're watching on YouTube, what is up? If you're watching on Facebook, please give us a like on there. Okay. Um, next thing, I'm going to show you guys a few of the testimonials. Here's somebody who actually started getting some money from their affiliate commissions by offering marketer magic to other folks, you know, the, you know, sending it out through either video, creating YouTube videos, or even sharing within the DMs of Facebook. So these are the things that can happen. If you guys want to be affiliates, you can also do that as well. This is Abdu. He says, thanks, Kevin. Within 10 days only, I got 12 customers with revenue. So just want to let you guys know that this is, these are type of the things that we're seeing as far as testimonials. And here, if you don't believe me, here's a freaking snapshot of like all the folks right there, smack dab right there in the middle, let you guys know we're not playing. We're not pulling these out of our butts. Like these are legit people who are seeing testimonies, right? So Without further ado, the breakdown is you guys can see by the title, best niches to jump into for 2020 for SMMA. I'm going to go a little bit quicker today. I want to make sure everybody gets questions answered. And also, I'm going to have to end it abruptly at 630. Got some meetings coming up afterwards. So I want to make sure that you guys are covered. If not, I can answer your questions afterward in the comment section, but you have to ask them or else I can't answer them. Okay. All right. Let's see who's here. Who's here. Who's here. So Natalie, we already know. Natalie, como esta? All right. Abigail, what's going on? Jovan, what's going on? Amir, what's going on? Emmanuel, everybody. Ooh, the squad is here. The squad is live. The squad is lit. Um, Brianna Robinson says, I have a question. <laughs> go ahead and ask it, Brianna. We're going to get to it as soon as I go through um, the list, right? If you guys have any questions before I start anything, ask me now. I'll wait a few seconds because I know there's a delay. And if not, I'm going to just jump right into sharing my screen so you guys can see exactly what I want to do. And the purpose again of this is to just give you guys a good tip, a good heads up of, of niches to keep in your mind. If you haven't thought about it, it's just to get the juices flowing for you, right? And I put some reasons why I would jump into these niches, niches that I'm personally looking at myself as well, right? Michael Sanchez, what's up? All right, cool. All right, so. All right, so here, well, Brianna's asking a Amazon question. Fair enough. Today's going to be only for um, Market and Magic, but since Brianna was persistent, I like that. Um, she says, so I submitted branding to Amazon to validate I own it, and they said it would take about 24 hours. It's been longer than that. How long does it take? Well, how long uh, How long ago did you submit it? Also, another thing I realized with, with the corona and quarantine, there's been a lot of weird hours from a lot of companies, all right? So their hours that they're probably quoting you is when things were fine and dandy and, and there was no 
quarantine going on. But also, if you haven't reached out to Seller Central about this, like customer service, that's going to be the first move I'm going to tell you to do. If not, the, the, the best thing you can do as well, they're going to probably tell you the highest thing you can do is to email Jeff Bezos at um, Jeff Bezos email. If you if you look it up, you'll find it. It's really popular. A lot of people who have like things that are unresolved, they email him a complaint or say, hey, I've been waiting. If it gets to that point, you can email Jeff Bezos himself. Whether he answers, I'm not sure, but somehow people get their questions answered and I'm like, it works. So might as well take it, right? So Brianna, I hope that helps you. But if you want to tune in tomorrow on Wednesday, which is when we actually do these lives for, um, for Amazon, okay? All right, guys, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go ahead really quickly through this list. You guys, let me know what you think about this list. If you've already tried niches like this, um, also let me know because it's going to help other people who probably have no idea about it. Let me go ahead and share this right now. Can you guys see this okay? Drop a one in the comment section if you can see this just fine. I'm gonna make this larger so everyone can see it. 100, one, I'm gonna shrink this up. All right, cool. Let's see if I can zoom in. Ooh, would you look at that? All right, all right, so, numero uno, I would've done this a PowerPoint, you guys know this, but I didn't do it. All right, so, Numero uno is going to be the niches that I want you guys to go into. I'm going to explain it and give you guys my personal um, thoughts about it. And then you guys tell me exactly as well. I, not, I didn't just choose these niches out of my butt. What I'm doing is I find niches that I've seen people have success in, and I'm bringing it here to you guys so you guys can also test it as well. Keep in mind also the climate in which the economy is currently in. Be smart, your business owners. So you guys do your research. See what it's like so far. If you guys don't know if something is catching... Um, if you guys don't know if someone is catching, you know, something is catching like a trend or anything, you can go on Google Trends and check to see if a niche you're even thinking about that I didn't mention here is going to be taking off. Okay. So just make sure. Amobi, I'm going to ask you to be nice. And so Brianna says, who cares? Be nice. Okay. I don't want to have to block or ban anybody today. All right. So the next one is this, right? E com niches. For those of you guys who are not aware, right? I made a, a very similar. Um, I guess live for shopping Shopify for people who are doing shop inspect, people who are doing drop shipping to how to find e-commerce because they, they have e-commerce agency. So now that being agency today is agency day, right? For marketer magic. So we get to talk about agency stuff. So I hit some really good points. If you guys haven't caught it, catch that live because it really went over the e-com agency space, but it really applies to anybody doing agency period. So with e-com niches, one of the best ways to do is um, things to do to reach out to folks who have e-com stores is to, number one, um, I did the best job actually on that last live. Number one, if you go on Google, you find a niche. So for example, the niche I used was a pet store, like a boutique pet store. You got to go after people that are not like obviously big box stores, big box companies, stuff like that, because they're probably not going to um, respond to email or do business with you, you know, all that whole, whole thing. Um, but you can find boutique pet stores that are selling really, you know, novelty type stuff like specialty made food that are delivered straight to your door, kind of like the HelloFresh for pets, right? Don't forget how big and important niches are, right? People are pet lovers. Some people just like live and die and breathe just for their pets, right? And so understand that these are the types of niches you're going to be jumping into. And for them, um, it's going to be easier to sell to a crowd like that because they're going to be ready and willing to do whatever it takes to take care of their of their um, of their pet. So, for example, this pet boutique had like personal grooming services. They sold special food, special toys, um, GMO free stuff. And so I I showed how you can actually go on a hunter.io, which is a free um, extension. Matter of fact, let me see if I can do it real quick for you. OK, I'm going to do the search real quick just so you guys can make sense of this. Um, I'm going to go and do pet. Uh, Pet Boutique. Let's do that because I did that search before. So with the Pet Boutique, I'm going to find something. I think this is the company I used, right? Last time it froze on me a little bit. So let's see if we can do this, right? So if I'm doing looking for e-commerce, stuff to do e-commerce for, right? I'm going to go on here. I'm going to see right now that I'm looking at this spot. Um, let's go to Splish Splash. Let's go to uh, website. Kick it off real quick. They're located in Florida. My kind of, it's my hometown, you know what I'm saying? Which is cool. I'm going to go to their main website and here I am right now, right? I'm not sure who this lady is. She may be the owner. She may not be, but let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to find exactly um, some emails of people to contact, right? But before I do that, I want to check a few things off first, right? 
Um, let's see what her, you know, her uh, Facebook presence looks like. Let's see what she got going on. All right. So I go here on her Facebook presence. I see here. Okay. Let's see for a recent post. Do we see any recent posts? Do we see anything here? I see June 21st. Awesome. So she's up to date. Happy dog dad day. Yeah. Like father's day type post, which is cool. Let's see if they're running any ads, right? That's the next thing I want to see. So they have a Facebook presence. They have most likely an Instagram presence. So I'm going to see if they're running any ads. So I go over here to see more. I see go to ad library. I clicked on transparency, by the way, and you notice she's not running any ads, right? So most likely they're if not running ads. They may need help with that, or they may not even know the benefits of having ads to be ran, right? So this is where you guys can come in and, and you know, get them as an, as an agency to approach them, right? I'm not going to go into detail like I did on the last live video. So I'm going to go into the next um, step. But what you can do is send them a private message here on this page by creating a post. You can leave a post here. Um, you can sign up to their um, contact list, right? Uh, here, if you go to contact us here, you can go to their contact list. And here's the, the best thing you can do, right? The free, the free uh, pretty much the application that I found was the hunter.io. If you click this, you get 50 free searches per month. I'm not sure what the price is per month and all that breakdown. You're going to have to look that up yourself. But here, you know, you can find emails here. Um, of, of maybe like support, it says support, right? It gives you the email here and then it gives you names of people and their emails right away. What you can do is literally copy every single one of these and contact them each and say, hey, I'm, re I'm reaching, trying to find somebody who's in charge of store, who's a decision maker in this store. So that way I can go ahead and see if you guys would be you know, interested in some of the services that my team offers, you know, something like that, right? So you can, you have emails here, you guys can do it. And look how fast I brought that up, right? So that's only one store. If you go back to the other Google um, search that I did, you would find more stores you can attack like that, right? And that's just for the e-com space, all right? So that's one. Okay, that's e-com. The reason why I said e-com is because Amazon has exploded, right? As an e-com company since pretty much all this quarantine happened, everybody thought everything was gonna crash, right? Some, many things did crash, but the exact opposite happened to a lot of other companies. They just boomed, right? And depending what type of industry you were in as an agency or as an owner, you either lost a lot of clients or you kept all of yours and you're probably seeing massive business, right? No matter where you are right now, you always have an opportunity to pivot. So that's your opportunity, right? Um, again, there are many e-com businesses that are seeing more business than ever, and many need their help with marketing while they keep up with the orders that they're currently getting an influx of, and they probably don't know how to do the marketing just as well as they do the fulfillment, right? They're fulfilling the orders, knowing what people need, answering support stuff. They could probably handle that, but they probably need help with like the Facebook side of things, right? So understand that. Find weak points though in their, in their website or whatever, so that way you can pinpoint them when you actually make a Loom video, right? Uh, if you guys don't know, I got Loom Pro 100% for free lifetime, but you can do the same exact thing before July 2nd, I believe. So make sure that you sign up for Loom Pro. You have to sign up under the education account and use an educational email to get that, right? And I'll show you proof after, after this presentation. So after that, uh, the next one I have is dentistry. Calm down. Calm down. I know somebody can be like, I tried dentistry. Don't work. It's, it's saturated. No, no, no. You're coming from a different angle, all right? The angle... Is really important no matter what industry you come in. I don't even care if you jumped into a saturated product industry. I mean, you're obviously gonna need a little bit more money for that, but the saturated product industry, your angle matters the most. So how you approach the the marketing side of things and how you, you know, what pain point are you pointing out this time as opposed to you know pointing out what everybody else is doing. So the reason why a lot of people see dentistry and say, man, dentistry is dead, I've been tried this, doesn't work. All right, look for more specific, right? More specific stuff. Try to help them sell higher priced services that they can actually make money off of, right? Dental implants are freaking expensive and people who need them will get them, right? But now you have a skill that you learned on how to run ads targeting people who will need services like this. Because the dentist, the first thing they're gonna say is because, hey, look, I see agencies like you guys every day. I get emails like you guys every single day. What makes you different? That's literally what somebody asked me. I said, well, literally, what services are you trying to sell? What are you having issues with as far as marketing? Why is your message not coming across? And why did you even click on my stuff to ask me questions, right? Because I try to send out messages and when they respond, I say, what made you respond? Because I want to find out what really was their pain point that made them respond. Obviously, they responded for a reason. I'm just interested. I want to see what services you offer. Well, obviously, they're interested in something in marketing, right? So I say, well, what's what's your bottleneck? What's what's keeping you from getting the patients in? Is it patient flow? Is it, are you looking for, you know, increase your bottom line? Are you looking for a really savvy way to 
get the customers that you currently have or the patients you currently have to maybe upgrade to the next level of service that you have? Like, these are the questions you got to ask to kind of pinpoint, you know, find that thing. Once you find it, you're going to get something back, right? And so after you do, what I found is dental implants have been a really big hit. You guys can use Marketer Magic and I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you really quickly. I won't do a live search, but I'll show you really quickly the tools, many leads on Marketer Magic to help you find dentists. And then once you find the list in your area or whatever areas you're planning to target, you can then immediately send them emails specifically asking them, what's the bottleneck in your business? Pretty much, can you tell me why, how marketing services can help you? You know, you can figure out, and Kevin gives a lot of you know, email scripts to use and they're scripts for a reason because you're supposed to make them yours, right? You have to make them sound like you, make them your voice because it's a script just to give you a baseline what to go off of. Never use a script just as is. You can, you can get some, you know, responses back, but always remember everybody else is doing the same thing too. So remember that. Next thing is remember to be specific, all right? So more specifically in the dentistry niche, in the dentistry area, anything tool, teeth wise, orthodontist, they pay, like they get paid bank because that's where kids go to get their um, braces. That's where people go to get everything in here shifted, man. Like it's, it's serious business. So if you target orthodontist and you're like, Hey, I'm not doing dentistry. I'm going to just do orthodontist. That'll be the next step for you. Right? Because when people come to see an orthodontist, they need to, like it's a necessity or if they really want to, because it's like the, the whole, um, either, they're doing like veneers, either they're doing, and it's there's all expensive stuff, veneers, whether they're doing um, Invisalign, whatever it is, uh, root canals, those things, things of that nature, an orthodontist is going to be able to do it. And they're going to be paid usually in cash because not everybody, um, not everybody has insurance for that coverage. Not every orthodontist takes insurance. So people who come visit them are going to be people who have cash on hand or going to be wiring, transferring things of that nature. Okay. So just giving you a heads up on that. Okay. And that's why I said braces for ortho, right? Because that's why I had to. That's why I know. Next thing is cosmetic surgery. Pause. I know it's, like, it's Corona time. Nobody's going to be face to face. Why would I go to cosmetic surgery? Relax. We're going to get there. You know, plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery. Like what's stopping Miami, Florida from going out anyway? People are out there on the beach willingly, all right, willingly breathing air that they know they might catch something from, right? Nothing stopping them. So just because you think in my area it's shut down, it's shut down all over the world, you have the wrong mindset, right? That's why I say it's really important to find out exactly what I call heat maps. Figure out exactly what areas are locked down, which areas have um, which areas have the most string the, the string stringest. <laughs> Stringest of the most strictest rules as far as lockdown goes to see what businesses are actually open so that way you're not wasting your time targeting a state like, for example, Texas or something like that, who has a very strict, you know, nobody goes out quarantine going on. Right. And I know this starting to lift now. So that's why when you start to send out your campaigns to these businesses, because the quarantine starting to let up a little bit, now you can sweep through. Right. And help. If you, what I've noticed is if you offer your, your service and you let them know your price and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't know if I can handle that. I don't know if I can do that. Don't go the route of let me do this month for free. And then we can, you can pay me next month. Cause I told you in one of our previous lives that that's not going to work. Most likely it's not going to end up in a sale. It's not going to end up the way you enjoy it. You would expect it. So what I would say for that is what I've done is Say, hey, okay, well, how about we do half now? And then we'll begin working with you. We'll begin getting the process rolling. And then in two weeks, we'll pay you the other, we'll, we'll actually charge you the other half. Does that sound fair? Because you'll still be getting a full payment within a four week period, but you're now not, you're not risking the fact of being, um, you know, left in the dark and maybe not being paid and then hoping if you do a good job, right, on that first free trial that they're somehow going to pay you now, you know, 1500 bucks or a thousand bucks, whatever, all of a sudden they're going to be like, nope, thanks for the free work, but I think I can handle this because I saw what you did and it looks pretty easy when it's really not, right? It takes practice. And so that's one of the things that I want to make sure you guys understand. So that's one way to handle that. I see some comments coming in. Keep it coming, guys. I see you. Uh, so Cosmic Dentry is one because the target um, you have to target specific states that have more open rules. Like I said, they're cash rich, right? It's not like, hey, I have insurance to get my nose done. Like that's not happening. People are going to come in and say, look, I want my nose done. You hear me? 
And so they're going to get their nose done because that's what they want. They're going to bring that money. Um, and they can definitely afford uh, pretty much, they can afford the, the marketing. The only thing is you have to approach them with, you have to come correct with some of these higher cash rich businesses. They kind of know the loop, right? They know what's going on. They know that there's agency owners looking and hunting to try to help do marketing, right? Don't ever think that, oh, they don't know about us, right? Granted, not every company knows that, you know, digital marketing is a thing or it's a thing that people have agencies for, right? Not every single one, because that'll be incorrect statement, but many of them do, right? You're not the only one targeting them. So you have to come from a specific angle that's going to make them listen to you, make them hear you, whether you hit them on both Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, whether you hit them on multiple DMs, like I said, sending them an email series, maybe for seven days, right? Um, you can do one day at a time, or you can do day one, day three, day five, you know, with two days apart, whichever you choose, just make sure that you guys are actually literally thinking about their mind. What are they thinking, right? Um, I'm going to give you a quick example um, when I get down further about what happened to me. I had a call today and I'm sure I'm explaining to you guys what happened. Um, the next thing is chiropractors. Again, just like dentistry, relax. Chiropractors. For I got one that was able to actually give me some really good info, um, literally one on one. And she was upfront with me, which I appreciated. And so I asked her, I said, what's really going on in the world of chiropractic? Because I'm hearing a lot of people, you know, a lot of my business partners have also mentioned that it's just, um, you know, guys are a little difficult and they don't seem to understand or get the need for marketing. And she said, it's not that we don't get it. It's just that we don't, the, the people who call us don't share with us the value. Now, what's the value in it for us? Like what's in it for us is what they want to know. How can I do my job better? How can I get in, get what I want out of your service without feeling like I'm paying and not getting any service back? So she was talking about people that have burned her in the past. And, and you know, doctors talk, right? So they're going to be like, oh, yeah, don't do that marketing stuff. You know, they, I got burned by one. And so they all think all marketers are bad when it's not the case. So what I would say is when you approach them, come correct. Know what you're going to offer right away, but don't offer it yet until you figure out what their pain point is. Open up the conversation. Talk to them. Really figure out exactly what's making them feel like they can't reach their goals. So here's what I ask. I say, hey, so what are you currently doing right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that working out for you? How's that working out? Okay. Now, where would you like to be? Like, what's your ideal situation for a month? She's going to tell you, oh, I'd like to have maybe an additional, maybe like 10 patients in the next three months. Okay. I would love to work with that. Uh, I would love to work with you on that goal because that seems pretty attainable. I believe in what my services offer. I believe in my team and I believe that we can help you get there. Okay. And then here's what they really want to know. Here's the bottom line. All right. Every one of these companies you contact, what happens if it doesn't work out? What happens if it all goes to crap? Like I'm paying, I'm not getting my clients. I'm not getting my leads. I'm not getting anything. What happens then? Then you just be straight up and you say, Hey, look, you address it right away. Look, we're going to do our best. We're going to go up to bat for you. Okay. We're going to fight for you the entire time. I ask, I don't do contracts. So you guys can do contracts for like, you know, three months, what have you, if they like that. But people like the fact that they're not tied into a contract. So I go the route of no contracts. So I say, I don't do contracts. So don't worry there. They're like, oh, good. Because last time I got locked in a contract. No worries. We don't do that here. Um, all I ask is that you give us about at least 30 days. Um, at the end of 30 days, we're going to see where we're at. If I don't hit the number that I'm aiming to hit for you, right? I won't charge you for the following month until I hit that number. Okay. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And they feel comfortable. Like, okay, well, he's not out right away. The first thing they said, well, now I know you're not after to get my money because most people just want to get paid and then tell me good luck. So if I say that to them, they understand they're like, man, all right. So he's not after my money. He actually said something that was really cool. He said, he's going to try to work with me on my dream. He figured out my pain point. This guy's not so bad. Let me go ahead and give him a try. Okay. All you want to do is get them to the point of sale. You get them to try, you get them to sign up with you. Once they do, now the real work begins. And I told you, if you don't know how to do the ads or you're still learning, right? In order for you to get the results that you need as quickly as you're promising, I think it's a really good idea for you guys to start looking for white labelers, people who can fulfill these things for you. Okay who could do the ads for you. Remember I told you last time how to find out 
where to find these guys. You can find them on, you can find them in the current group with Marketer Magic because they, they hang around everywhere that people have agency, their agency owners. You can go in other groups and check as well and just ask, just make a post. Hey, looking for a white labeler. They're going to say, well, what niche? And then you tell the niche and they'll be like, hey, I don't do that, but I know somebody else who does, right? So don't be fearful, guys, just because you don't know how to do it for, for chiropractors. There's always someone out there who's willing to get paid. Of course, you're going to have to pay them, right? A little piece. Um, but just be mindful. All right. I think it's time for a quick pause. I'm going to do a giveaway really quick. And I want everybody to be who's ready for a giveaway real quick because I want to give away rapid fire. What's up, Peter Kim? I see you, homie. Um, Brianna, what's going on? Happy to be here. Joseph, what's going on? Nate and John with COVID. There'll, be a st there'll still be a surge of demand for lung doctors. That is correct, man. And that's a good point you brought up as well. All right. If you guys are ready for the a giveaway right now, I'm going to give away a free book or a T-shirt. By the way, Debbie, just want to let you know our winner for the free book or t-shirt for the first commenter who didn't win. Sorry, Natalie. Lo siento. Um, Abigail King is going to be the book slash t-shirt winner. If you can get that person a link so they can fill out the winner's uh, list, I'd appreciate it. All right. Peter Kim says he's ready. Brianna Robinson says me. All right. Cool, guys. So here is the thing. Remember, it's all tech-based. I don't care what you use. You can use Google if you want to. But in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. What is often seen as the smallest unit of memory, not brain, talking about computers? Smallest unit of memory on computers, smallest mem uh, size. Whoever can answer this correctly, not as easy as you guys think it is unless you guys are like tech heads, which you probably are. Go ahead and um, drop that down in the comment section so we can crack on and move on forward with the rest of the list and then we can answer some questions, okay? Oh, damn. I like what the gray did to the light. Ooh, made me look Gucci. Michael Tripp, nice try. Ooh, Brianna close in the mud. But nope. Hold up. Before I say no to you, before I say no to you, nope, you got to spell it correctly too. 100%. Ah, guy's getting close. Not a bit. It's not the answer I have. Somebody has to get the right answer that I have. <laughs> Brianna said, dang. <laughs> she said, dang, Daniel. Yeah, so you got to get it what I have. Let me, let me give you a clue so we can speed this up. It starts with a K, okay? It starts with a K and it has some of the answers that you guys have thrown out there. So it starts with a K, just helping you out there, okay? Come on, y'all. I know y'all want this book, baby. Come on, man. And also, um, we didn't give this out to our lucky winner yet. All right, starts with a K, and it also has that word that you guys are dropping. Oh, Nit and John with the kill. Yikes. All right, Nit and John, you win, brother. All right, you get a free book or a T-shirt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Peter Kim also says, I'll let somebody else win. So, Nit and John, congratulations. You're going to get a link from uh, our support staff. Go ahead and rock it. And congratulations to you on that, guys. We got two more gifts again. We're going to do that and then a $100 giveaway, okay? If you guys are ready, is, is this helping you so far, guys, with the with the topics? Is this cool? Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me know if it's working. If, if, the, if you find the list that I created that I'm talking to you guys through with cool, let me know because that helps me again to know exactly that, uh, you know, it's worth it. <clears throat> wait, wait, did I hear that Nitin, Nitin already won? He says, I have them, give it to Brianna. Okay, all right, all right, I'll give it to the next person who didn't win. Brianna, didn't you win before? Who said kill the Who's the boss? I think that's the next person who actually answered correctly, the boss. Because Nick John's saying he already won. So, all right, we'll, we'll go on to the next person. The boss, you're the winner, okay? You're going to get the link, all right? Please, if you tell me that you won already, then we can go ahead and do that, all right? Um, Natalie Flores, how do you claim the book? You're going to get a link right now that you have to fill out immediately. You're going to get a link for us, all right? Yeah, Brianna says she won already. So we're going to get somebody who didn't win, guys. Let's be fair. The boss, we're going to say you're the winner because you're the one right after Nate and John who answered correctly. So congratulations. That's why it's always good to continue to answer the question, even though you think somebody's won already. So congrats on that. All right. Uh, what's up, Lily? See so you just popping in there. All right. 
If you guys are getting value from the stuff, please let me know in the comment section. I'm about to continue right now, okay? All right, back to the list. Let me get this out of the way. Back to the list, okay? So we talked about cosmetic dentistry. We talked about um, chiropractors, right? Uh, no, we didn't actually talk about chiropractors. Yeah, yeah, I explained that story that I had with that chiropractor. Um, and here's another thing that I figured out too. Like I know that somebody says, uh, do I have to have a, uh, you know, a, a, a website or something like that? You don't need a website. I guess maybe like a domain if you want. Because some of them do ask. Some of them really try to validate your business by the fact of you having a website or not, right? And I know sometimes it can be kind of weird of them saying like, oh, how can you be a media company and not even have a website? So to fix that, you guys, if you have ClickFunnels, if you have any type of lead page type of program, um, by the way, there's going to be a special, literally a special event that's going on this Thursday that I'm going to be doing with a crazy internet marketer, guys. You guys are going to want to drop in because I'm going to tell you right now, um, the stuff he's about to show you and share with you, it's going to be how you guys can like have um, create pages and funnels and all of that literally with the most amazing deals, one-time payments. And it's just, I can't explain it all here, but I just want to let you guys know, be on the lookout for some more information. It's going to be coming to you guys. Be here on Thursday, 5.30, because that's where we're going to do it. All right. So he'll be here to present and it's going to be freaking off the chain. Don't miss that. And you guys should be receiving some messages about that pretty soon. All right. So with that being, with that being said, um, uh, how long does it take to receive a PayPal? This is what Lily says. Lily, if you didn't fill, did you fill out the information from the link from last time when you won? If you haven't, then we have to have you fill out that link or else you won't get it. All right. If you did, then I can hit up the team about you and then we can get you fixed up ASAP. All right. So back to the chiropractors, right? So chiropractors, another thing too, is the chiropractors, they are running through an issue where they're not able to see as many of their clients or the many of their patients as they would like to. So what I would suggest you do for them is to pretty much design a, um, an email sequence or an email series, explain to them, like say, Hey, I know you're not able to see all your patients, only emergency cases. Cause that's usually what it is right now. That's literally worldwide what it is. And say, but here's what I have come up with a plan. And the plan seems to be working really well for, with some other mark, um, other chiropractors. And so what you can do is create a video series, helping patients with whatever movements they normally do, right? As long as it's not anything that's like dangerous, but something they can do stretch wise to help them with, you know, cervical, which is the upper neck area, cervical area with their mid back stretches. They can make a video just like that for patients who are doing that. They, they can make one whole video that says, in this video, we're gonna talk about cervical, mid back and lower back stretches to help them, right? While they're at home in quarantine, while they're not able to see their patients. We're not able to see each other, but here's Please try these, let me know your feedback down below. Feedback is important. So now you're going to tell them, hey, we can make this video series. You can ask them for your feedback afterwards to see in ways you can improve. And you'll be having more video content coming their way while you're, you're, they're not able to come into your office, right? And then it's just a surefire way to get your patients engaged, right? Their patients engaged. And then also you'll be able to like keep them updated when um, their doors will be open again, right? If they already don't have this set up, just say you can do this automatically. You can set that up in a, in a flip of a switch, okay, to, to help them out. So that's that's one way you can deal with um, chiropractors, okay? Email sequences, like I mentioned, and explain how their pain point, your service will help them with their issues. Last but not least, and then I'll go on through a few ones I'm going to just talk about really quickly, is legal services. I know a lot of people say, uh, I don't want to touch legal services, but they got a lot of money, right? They got a lot of budget. Here's the thing with them, though. You must come correct. There's just no other way around it. You know what I mean? If I was going to go to, I don't personally do legal services, but I've seen people make crushing amounts with legal services because they have a lot of money to blow. A lot of their time is spent with pro bono work and trying to like do legwork on cases that they're dealing with. And trust me, it's not all like OJ Simpson cases. Sometimes it's just, the, you know, they're like cases like ran a stop sign and, you know, a cop is saying one thing and the person is saying another and it just, I'm going to get my lawyer on you. So it could be like many cases like that. But if, and they're swamped with those, but what they're always looking for are more cases because more cases they have, more money they get paid. So they're obviously going to look for like, you know, it depends what, what type of lawyer it is, right? So it could be like divorce lawyer, it could be like, you know, real estate lawyer, it could be like um, all kinds of folks you can target with that, right? You could use many leads again to target legal services or legal uh, um, attorneys, 
anything of that nature. And then you could then hone in and find out exactly what type of attorneys you want to hit up. Right. But um, in this case, you can I would open the cast a net wide type in attorneys or legal attorneys and then see what comes up on the mini league search. Take each of those um, names and numbers and contact them and say, hey, you know, I've seen your website. Check it out. And this is where you would use a loom video and let them know, hey, I, I can help you with your services to find more clients like this. If this is what you're interested in, what type of legal service are you looking to provide? And then you can help them find, they'll give you the answer, obviously, and talk to them. They're going to try to be sharp. Of course, you know, these other folks are going to try to literally figure you out. Like, oh, you have a misspelled letter in your website or a misspelled letter on your privacy document, like stuff like that. That's what I think about anyway. Um, yeah, lawyers have ridiculous budgets and then you have to come correct and make sure you show proof of results. If you don't have results, like I said, find a white labeler that can do that. Usually the white laborers would charge anywhere between 500 to 750 is what I've seen, right? But again, it's just dependent on the niche that you're into, all right? On to the next niche, general contractors. General contractors is another great one too. They are really cash dependent service, but they're cash flow dependent as well. So now that it's getting into summertime, not a lot of, um, it's gonna be less rain, I guess, not a lot of cool, cool weather. So it's gonna be easier for them to fulfill jobs like roofing and, and carpeting and things of that nature. Uh, remodeling, like kitchen remodeling, things of that nature. If you guys are interested in those services, be on the lookout for those, right? Because general contract is a little too broad. You got to kind of hone in on one. Um, the next step from that one is going to be like in-home services, maintenance, that type of stuff, plumbing, um, garage door fixing. You guys can find folks that can do these things because these are the types of jobs that people need to have done, right? You don't want to find something that's going to be difficult. I'm not in the restaurant niche. And if you guys are, let me know in the comment section if you are. Um, I just find that there is um, there are different ways to approach certain businesses. I haven't personally targeted restaurant niche, so I don't want to talk about it. But the folks that who have done it, what I've heard is that you know they just re first try to figure out what the business owner of the restaurant is trying to achieve. If it's more um, more customers, and you got to figure out lifetime value of the customer, and so you can figure out a really reasonable price to charge them. So that way they're not like laughing at prices, right? So it has to make sense to them. It has to make sense for you too. I don't want you guys to go out there, do a bunch of work and not get paid enough for it, right? So general contractors and home service is really cool. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anyone that's lingering in my brain. I can't think of one, but I literally slapped that up for you guys. If you guys really like this list or at least found this list somewhat helpful or at least get your brain start to working, um, let me know. Cause I always like to know if it's working. Um, I didn't put gyms on here on purpose because of course with Corona, it's kind of weird, right? They're going to be paying for marketing to, to get like when they can only fit a certain number of people in right now, since a lot of uh, states are going to be opening up slowly through phases. I don't want to be like, Hey, go after gyms and gyms are going to be like, well, I can't even have a maximum amount anyway. So yeah. So it's going to be a little difficult. Okay. All right. Now it's time for questioning. Um, we only have 15 more minutes left. Um, did I do a second giveaway yet? I didn't. Let's do a giveaway. 615. Let's do a giveaway right now. Okay. Now is another chance for somebody to win. Again, guys, we're going to try. You can, if you already want to, you're just trying to poke fun and just try to win. Again, go ahead. Cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop the question right now. Let's go ahead and do this. In five, four, three, two, one. Question is who owns the Hotmail email service? Hotmail email service. You've got mail. No, that's AOL. I used to love that, by the way, that commercial. I'm going to get to all your questions. David Rosales, I see you. We're going to go back and go through all them questions and make sure you guys get answered, okay, as many as I can. we got to hop off here in 15 minutes, so make sure you guys drop them in there. All right, who owns the Hotmail service? MSN, MSN, MSN. Mm, there's a particular company. MSN is just... Uh, it's actually just another website. Oh, <laughs> you already won, Bucko. Nice try, David. Jeremy Caballero, Caballero, Caballero. Congratulations, man. You're the winner, bro. Um, I don't think you've won before yet. So you won a free book or t-shirt. So you can get a choice of this, Kevin David's Unfair Advantage book, or a t-shirt if you want, Un unemployed shirt. Um, you're going to be getting a link from our staff really quick. Debbie's going to be dropping something underneath your comment. So please respond to that ASAP, guys, or else you're going to sound like Lily and you're going to sound like other people who are like, I didn't get my prize. 
because you didn't fill out the link. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, I'm just playing with you, Lily. I see you. Um, and again, you too, Natalie. Else for you too. All right. So Jeremy, yeah, he said he hasn't won yet. So congratulations, everybody. Woo, Jeremy Caballero. All right. So last thing now we have is this again. Who asked the best question and who's engaged the entire time, guys, is going to be winning $100, okay? And again, I have to pick winners who haven't won yet, okay? So just make sure that you guys, perfect, Peter. Um, you fill out your link, and if you haven't gotten anything yet, I'll get back to you. Just message me privately on, on not Instagram, but Facebook at True Romeo. All right, so let's go through questions so we can wrap this sucker up. All right, so Brianna talked about that. We answered you, girl. So Brianna says, gotcha, makes sense. Thank you so much. I love uh, you for answering my questions. You're welcome. Yes, this helped me. Amazing, I love it. Um, how are you doing? Do you think it's too late to market COVID prevention products? No, absolutely not. I mean, as long as you're not doing it on Amazon, um, because Amazon is a little funny about that. People trying to take advantage of like the whole quarantine and the whole thing. But if you have your own store, like your own e-commerce store, I don't think it's too late. You just got to make it look fresh. Like it got to be like, you know, have a picture of your kid on your mask or something like that. Something cool. You know what I mean? Nothing that's used. Maybe like a new scarf that acts like a scarf, but also is a mask, which I've seen some people do. And they get like a pack of five for buying one, that kind of stuff. That's how you can win. So Roselle, I'm not even going to try that last one, boy. But Roselle, yeah, that's the answer. All right, who else we got? Somebody holler at me and say, what's up, King? Yeah, yeah, Eliezer, what's up, King? I see you. All right, Debbie says, legit bomb values, yep. Yeah, yeah, you know, I tried to drop some, I mean, I hope it's helpful. I mean, I hope they're bomb values. I know they're valued to me. When I heard them, when I learned them, I know that it helped me out. So I, I figured it helped you guys out too. Um, Pro tip says, analyze the market, who needs? The most help bridge the gap through marketing example. Doctors trying to reach clients through telemedicine. That's correct. Damn, Debbie, that was a heavy one. I like that. Yeah, you guys need to pay attention to that. With COVID, there will be a surge in demand for lung doctors. We did see that. So thank you for that, Nick. John, I appreciate you. Lisa, what's going on? Love it when you're here, girl. Just feel like I'm at home. Um, all right. So how do you know what number to promise? Oh, so T1, that's a good question. So the number to promise, that will come from like the person who's gonna be giving you the results, right? So here's how you can figure that out. After you ask and say, hey, um, after you find a white labeler, right? Somebody who fulfills on, on the Facebook results that you're gonna be getting, you know, you're gonna be giving the work to because your job is gonna be getting more clients to come in and then you're gonna hand off that job to the white labeler. So the white labeler will be the one that's gonna be handling your stuff. So what you would do is say, hey, what's your average amount of results for if you, first of all, here's here's how the process goes. You're gonna be like, type in, hey, looking for a white labeler in whatever in the industry. Somebody's gonna respond and say, hey, I'm a white labeler. What did you need help with? And you said, I'm a PMU, let's talk. You talk, then they're gonna be like, all right, cool. So how what's your average results for getting clients for dentistry? Like how many patient signups or how many um, you know, new lead signups are you gonna get able to get for uh, dentistry in a month? And then they're gonna give you a number or a range. You can say, yeah, it could range between you know 20 to 24, range for 20 to 12, you know. So then you can take that range and I drop it down by like one or two. So if they say, for example, yeah, I normally can get by like 12 to maybe 24 leads in a month, you could say, all right, so it's safe to say 10 to 15 guaranteed. 10 to 15 promised. And so you can get that surefire number. If you pull a number out your butt and you're not sure what the industry, you might be in some trouble or you're going to instant, they're going to instantly be like, what's your guarantee again? Because I might want my money back or that next month is free or whatever you have set up. So you're definitely going to look towards that. If you try to pick a number and you're not sure if you can fulfill on that. So make sure you can act on that number. That's how I would break that down. 100%. All right. Everybody answering the question. So that was a good question. I like that to one. All right, all right, all right. Who else we got for questions? So Natalie was asking about claiming her prize. We got you on that. Lily was talking about hers as well. We got you on that. 
Who else we got? All right, so we got another question from David Orsales. He says, do you think an art painter will do good in post pandemic times? You know, art is a very um, subjective type industry. It's really like the beauty is in the eye of the beholder type thing. Um, I think it will, look, I think it's doing well now to be honest with you. You see that piece right there that I got? Like, I'm not sure if they're doing legit like art. I'm not sure if you're the artist that you're talking to or if you're the one that's talking to a client of yours that's like maybe an artist. You see, like me being at home, what I've noticed is that I'm looking at more empty walls. And I'm like, yo, babe, I think we need to buy more stuff for the walls. So for me, I've seen that the art sales or the art ads that I've been seeing on Instagram and stuff, have you guys seen them? The one where they have like the $100 bill and all these different colors and like, hustle hard 24 seven or success uh, nutrition facts is hustle, 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 100%, you know, that kind of stuff. Those guys are making a killing, right? So if you have a company like that, those are, are like wall art you can hang up. That's going to be something like that. This is this one. It says freedom is a state of mind and it's a cage of two birds with the door open, having the decision to leave, but making the decision to stay. That shit is just deep to me. I don't know. I, so it spoke to me and I grabbed it. And there's another one I'm looking at too. So yeah, I think I think it, it's hard to say, but here's what I would do. I would go to Google. I would go to Google Trends. Let me see if I can see some first. I would go to Google Trends and type in like art or type in different keywords. Art, trending art, wall art. You know what I mean? Whatever. Art. That's really basic. I don't know what type of art are you looking for. Uh, you said art painter. Yeah, so... Painter. Search term. That looks pretty hot. That's 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 like all right, painter. I'm just looking at it for you real quick before I share the screen. I mean, here's what I typed in, right? I'm gonna share my screen so you can see this too, okay? So David Rosales. So I typed in art painter, right? Here's what the the statistics are showing me between I don't know what happened over here, it hit 100 percent but like it varies, right? Right now, this is where we're at right now. So safe to say that these are the specific states that are showing the greatest growth that it goes from highest to lowest, right? And they ha also have a map that shows you exactly what states to target, like or that keyword is targeting specifically. So I always use Google Trends to just test out the industries to see how hot it is, what people are searching online or what they're looking for, right? Um, like I wanna test, this is gonna be a live test, y'all. <laughs> Plastic surgery. Let's see if people are listening to Corona advice. Plastic surgery, medical specialty. Like, come on, Nike. That's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like, somebody tells me plastic surgery is going down. Yeah, bro, but the data says different. This is from May 2020. This is updated between June 14th through the 20th. I think it updates every seven days. It's at 100%. Like, you can't tell me. This is how I do my search anyway. This is how I get the beginnings to get into an industry to see if there's enough demand. People are searching it up. And then I'll look up the other ones, right? This one says medical spe specialty. How about what people are typing in as a search term, right? Look at that. It's ridiculous. So don't argue with me. Argue with the data, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, this is the type of stuff that I look at before I make a decision like that. But good question, bro. I like that. Mr. Rosales. All right. Um, let's see if I can get my face back up here. And boom. So I hope that answers your question, my man. All right. Fill out the link. Cool, cool, cool. T1 says, isn't what, isn't what if you're not using a white labor labeler, um, will they still give you the range without hiring them? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You could be like, hey, as a white labeler, how many, how many, but here's the thing that doesn't really matter because that could be them. They might be a good white labeler and they're able to get like a higher number. And you don't want to promise that because they might be, they just probably are just good at finding leads for that particular industry or whatever, right? You don't have to go with them. You could be like, bro, how many leads are you able to get per month for this industry? And they give you a number and you'd be like, all right, cool. If you find, if you make a post and you find people giving you the same range number or maybe like 10 to 24, 10 to 20, 20 to 15, or 15 to 20, things of that nature, pick a number in between that fits almost all of them, right? So that way you'd be kind of like in the safe zone. So you can find kind of okay white labelers, but still fulfilled, but may not be the best in the business. They don't have to be the best. They just have to produce results. 
And then you can find the guy who's like legit, legit, legit that everybody puts their name like, oh, this guy's the best. Trust me. Don't waste your time on anybody else. This guy's the best. So you see what he says versus the, all the other guys. And then you say, OK, well, these these numbers fit within this range. So I could that would be perfect for me. Um, hope that helps you. Uh, Natalie Flores says, what skills do you need for e-commerce? Not sure what you mean by that. What time is it? So 627. Wrapping it up soon, guys. Um, 627. Skills you need for e-commerce. That's a really pretty big question. Hold on one second. Um, I'm not sure what you need for skills. For like e-commerce in general, you just have to, I would say, knowing how to do Facebook ads because it's ve you're, you're very dependent upon the, um, the, the, the market for them purchasing your stuff. So you have to drive traffic in somehow. Um, that's one of the things for e-commerce. You have to know how to pick a good product, make sure that the product is in demand. People are looking for that product and wanting to buy that product, that kind of thing. So that's the kind of skill I would say for e-commerce. And it's really just willing to learn, right? Um, normally sometimes we do free giveaways for like courses. Today is not, it's a free cheat sheet. So those of you guys who got the free course last time, hooray, it's not available today. So um, just want to see you guys need to take advantage whenever we do. So Natalie, if you didn't get the free course yet from you to me that we offer sometimes, then um, that'll be a good start, but that'll pretty much give you some of the skills you need. Not all of them, but it will give you some of the skills you need enough to really get make some money for sure, make some damage, okay? Um, oh, Brianna says something cool too. She says, she says some, um, uh, I feel like some skills are like advertising research. That is correct. Again, advertising research, knowing how to find a customer, the customer habits, um, what's going to make them, you know, click on your ad. And then she said SEO. SEO is the long-term play, by the way, guys. Some of you guys saying SEO. It's a long-term game, a little bit more expensive, but it's really powerful if you're going to be like, if you have your own website or you have someone who has a e-com website that's really established and all they really need, and they're going to be there for a while. You can help them out with their SEO and make sure that they're seen with when people type in certain keywords on Google and that they're showing up, being featured in um, other um, networks and maybe even some blogs to give them some of that um, that visual, the, the, the exposure that they're looking for. So I hope I answered that question. I hope I answered you to Juan. Um, he, David says, more like digitized, digitalized my art. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I don't know the industry for art very well, right? But I am sure that there's probably Facebook groups that do exactly what you're doing, like online artists, digital art. Type in those keywords, see what you find, and join some of those groups if you aren't already, and see what they're doing. Ask questions. You know, you'd be surprised to find that one person who would be like, you know what, man, let me DM you. I got some stuff I want to share that I've been meaning to talk about someone. That's how I found actually two people today by just – randomly helping them out. And they were like, yo, man, um, thanks for doing that. This is another thing I've been trying. I'd never even seen it before, but because I opened the conversation, he showed me some stuff that I thought was pretty cool, right? So Styles says, I'm from Nepal. Can I do it? Yeah, I mean, can you do what? What, what, can you, what are you asking specifically? Digitalized art is always in demand, David. Companies can use it for awesome contents to help them monetize their campaigns. Uh, you should be a good, you should be good post, yeah, post pandemic. Yeah. So Debbie was saying, like, if you're doing that kind of art, I really would like to see an example of what you're talking about. That would be cool and fresh to see like a sample if you have one. I have a feeling that you're the artist for some reason. Um, but yeah, if you're having, if you're actually doing like digital photo work like online, like there's people who are forced to do online business right now because they they figure it out that their job is not as safe as they thought it was. So now they're going to need graphics and logos and things of that nature to help them with that. So if that's what you're talking about, well, you're going to be in business all day. I thought you were talking about abstract art, like stuff like this, you know what I mean? Stuff to like, you know what I mean? Hang on the wall. But if you're talking about digital stuff, come on, everything is moving to digital. So you should be straight. Um, This is a very... Very special question. <laughs> what is your religion? I've never got this before. Um, interesting. All right. It's like, now nah, I'm a Christian, by the way. Just letting you guys know. All right. Next. Nobody else. No other questions. We're going to bring this sucker to a wrap. Um, 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 um. Because I like the way you made my brain hurt, Mr. David Rosales. You are the winner, man, for the $100 giveaway. 
hopefully that helps me. I don't know if that what you're gonna put that towards, but we're gonna send you hundred dollars PayPal ASAP Rocky, but you have to fill out the link ASAP Rocky for it to make sense, right? Or else you're gonna be like Lily or Natalie, and you're not gonna have it because we didn't fill it out. So fill out the link. All right, you're gonna be getting it from Debbie. Congratulations on that. I want to say thank you for you guys showing up today. If you guys again found value with this live showing the list and the topics and things of that nature drop in the comment section saying yes it helped me it made sense i like this part i didn't understand this part whatever it is let me know because then i can make those changes and talk about stuff that you guys are willing to show up for okay <laughs> natalie's laughing because she knows i'm right <laughs> um all right so guys I always like to know if this is working out. Me and the team are always making sure that it uh, makes sense for you guys. I want to make sure that you guys are getting the most value out of this. Um, again, don't forget, if you guys haven't signed up for Marketer Magic, guys, it's not too late to ever do that. Just know that the price will be going up. And at that point, I can only tell you what the new price is and tell you that it's just going to be that much better for you to go and take advantage of it. But if you go to Marketer Magic, try the seven-day trial. See what it does for you and your agency. Check out many leads. Try them out. These are going to be the things that you guys are going to set you apart from the other markets and the other agencies. Use it, test it. Let me know what you found. Is it good? Do you find that it's not, you know, what you thought it was, or maybe you're not sure how to use it. There's videos to show you how to use every single tool. I just try to bring you guys the value to help you take you there. Don't forget on again, Thursday is going to be a special live on 530. I want you guys to show up there. You're going to be getting an invite either through email through posts on Facebook, you're gonna be seeing it. It's gonna be with a guy that I know personally, his name is Mike Long, and also uh, it's gonna be two Mike's, gonna be Mike and Mike. These guys, man, one of these guys, uh, a really good friend of mine, his name is um, Mike, he he made 25, 25 years old, he's crushed it in Amazon, crushed it in e-commerce, crushed it in agency, made six figures in each and every single one of these businesses at age 25, making just about, me, I think a little over 50K a month. I just want to let you guys know. So if I say show up, please show up. All right. So Thursday is going to be the day that you guys don't want to miss. So I'm just doing a little verbal outreach for you guys here right now. So that way you guys can kind of get primed and ready for that uh, special event that's happening on Thursday. And you'll be getting more information about that as well. Okay. Um, so last question. Somebody says, um, does digital digitalized art can't affect the work of the hand painted art. Uh, don't, to, I'm not sure if I answered, understand your question correctly, but I don't think it, it's two different things like digitalized art versus hand painted art are two different worlds in art, right? Um, somebody who's good at Illustrator, uh, Photoshop, and, and, and um, you know, different softwares is different than someone who can take a Leonardo da Vinci stroke of a, of a brush to make it look sexy. So, all right. So Natalie says, I'll be ready. All right. Awesome, guys. So I hope you guys got value. I'll see you guys next week, Mon uh, Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and also this Thursday, 5.30 again for the special event. Grab the cheat sheet if you haven't already. Again, peace and love, guys. Stay safe. I 